Hello, everybody, and welcome. My name is Rick Utzer here with Airgun Web, your home for old school Airgun reviews and where we tell you the facts, not fluff. Today, we've got our Umarex Notos here, and we're going to be testing our 18.1s, 1813 precision pellets. We've been doing this with all of our 22s, and it's, uh, it's time for the Notos to take a shot. Let's get started. Okay, so what are we doing? Oh, there's a big lizard. Hey, big lizard. Eat some flies, would you? There's too many of them. Okay, <laughs> you guys can't see the big lizard, but he's over there. We have got uh, 1813s here. We've got JSBs, H&Ns, and JTS. We're set up at 20 yards. Uh, why am I at 20 yards? Well, because this is essentially a pistol, that's why. Um, yes, it has a big suppressor on the end, and yes, it's set up for uh, to be like a microcarbine, but essentially it is a pistol and you know, I want to be fair that way. Now, will we stretch it out to further distances? Yeah, of course. Uh, well, once we go through all of our testing, we've got the perfect pellet and all that kind of stuff, we absolutely will stretch it out. But for today, I want to see how these pellets do in this gun at 20 yards. So that's what we're going to do. Now, the way we've been doing this is we've been taking a cider uh, and just taking a few shots and seeing how it does. And then we're shooting um, three additional five shot groups. And then we look at the average, you know, how does that compare across all the groups? And that gives us a pretty good idea of how the pellet's gonna work across the board. Now this gun gets about three mags on the reg. So we should have no problem getting our 15, 16 shots out of this. We'll go fill it up and we'll grab our next pellet. We're gonna do JSB, H&N, and then JTS. We're gonna start with the upper left-hand corner. And here we go. Let's see where we're hitting. Low. Take another shot. Okay, good enough. We are basically going for groups, guys. I'm not trying to hit dead center. I just want to see how the groups are going to do. And I'm not going to try and recite the scope in between. We're just, if we're in the black or close to it, we're good enough. One. Two. Three. Four, five, uh, pretty good. All right, let's move on to another five shot group here. Next pull. Oh, I like that. One, two, Three, four, five. Ooh, that was pretty. Last, last group. <sighs> I do like a regulated gun. We've been doing a series, kind of comparing the Notos to the Jet too. I like the Jet. I see the functionality of it. But man, when you drop a regulator into something, if you're going for precision shooting, that reg makes a huge difference. If you're going for just pure power and like maybe hunting and you're less concerned about, you know, repeatable precision like across a whole bunch of shots, then unregulated can have some advantages. But for this kind of shooting, oh man, do you want a reg? Especially on something this small. All right, last five shots. Let's see how we're doing here. Ooh. Ooh. 
Last one. Okay, kind of came apart there at the end. But we got two really good groups. I'm gonna go top this off and we're gonna shoot the H and N's. I'll be right back. Okay, we're gonna go to the center column. Start at the top with a cider. Here we go. Okay, take one more. Okay, we're good to go. Let's drop down. All right, three five shot groups, here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, okay. I need to buy some extra bags. That would be helpful. Okay. Next bowl. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, okay. The H and N's, not doing so good. It's all right. That's what we're here to find out. Last group at the bottom. All right, five shots, here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Okay. Those were, well, those were consistently inconsistent. <laughs> All right. Well, let me go fill this up. Then we got one more pellet to shoot, and then we can wrap this up. I wonder how the JTSs are going to do. This should be interesting. Upper right. Cider. Okay, five shots, here we go. Here we go, five shots. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Okay. Next bowl. Five shots. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Ooh. That's looking good. Last group. Bottom right. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay, I gotta go grab that target. That's looking pretty good. Be right back. All right, wind don't knock my gun over. I think realistically we got a tie between the JSBs and the JTS. The H and Ns were, yeah, like I said, consistently inconsistent. But that's a really good group. That's a really good group. That kind of went a little sideways. That went sideways. That's a good group, and that's a good group. Actually, if we're gonna measure them, I think the JSBs came out just a little bit ahead. 
but some real potential there. Um, yeah, I would have to say, I'd have to give it to J-Speeds. Looking at it again, the J-Speeds, this definitely tight. That's very tight. Um, that's decent, decent. These are better. J-Speeds came out on top, but the JTSs didn't put up a bad showing at all. Uh, pretty cool. It's been fun, I think. I don't know for you guys, but for me, it's been fun to kind of go through all of these 22 air guns and run these pellets through them because it's there's just subtle differences sometimes and there's just some dramatic differences and kind of seeing that sort of happen in real time i like that kind of stuff i, I enjoy it so hopefully you guys are enjoying it too learning something if you've got a notos like jsp is going to be your best friend i know the haiti shoot really well well probably when we do the full review we're going to probably start with some 14s go all the way up to the 18s and see what gives us the best results and then we'll do our review with the best pellets sort of what we have in mind so we'll do that uh, but for now that's going to be it guys i hope you guys again enjoy it if you like it please let us know if you have some other ideas for us let us know that in the comments too and we'll take a look at them my name is rick Utzer here with airgun web your home for old school airgun reviews and where we tell you the facts not fluff thanks for watching